Okay, guys, let's find mean from a frequency distribution table. When we talk about mean, we learn that mean is basically you add all the number divided by number of numbers. Just a, it shows you the center. Okay, it shows you the center. So you basically add now. Once you know the numbers, then you can add all of them. But when you cannot see the number right away, they give you a frequency distribution table, right? Well, there's a technique. If can you extract the number? frequency table, distribution table as a data set okay if so we can easily follow the old method this one may be not possible you will see i'm going to show you this one is not possible this one we can extract five it's like five five so let me show you here how we can do that okay so i'm going to actually show, have two examples as you see down here right okay so this one I can, I'm going to pull out the data actually. Here you go. I'm going to pull out the data. So this one is basically 5 shows up twice. Okay, easily I can show 5, 5, 5, and 6. Look at that. 6, how many times it shows up? 3 times. 6, 6, 6. And 7, also 3 times. 1, 2, 3. 8, also 3 times. 8, 8, 8. 9, none. Okay, none. 10 is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You got the point. I can just extract all of them. Okay, there you go. I can just extract all of them. Now, if I do extract all of them, my sum of x wouldn't be 143. If you add all of them, 143. So, guess what? I do have my sum of x i just add that traditional law which is 143 over total number so well, how many number let's actually work it out here how many numbers right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 bingo we have 18 number and if i divide it with help of any calculator i would do long division right basically we should get seven point we should get seven point uh, let's do this one for seven point nine four nearest hundred you got the point right now we look into the other one okay so if you look into the other one look zero shows up how many time look so many zeros right one two three four you got the point okay you got the point and it goes five like that it's going like that and like that and of course five five i can even fit five here 117 time we cannot do this it's not going to work not gonna work okay it's not gonna work so we have to come up with a little bit smarter way of doing or quicker way of doing again guys i want to make sure that you understand that this is like when we learn addition right you just do slowly you just add it right when you do multiplication you do faster well that is the reason we're gonna that is what we're gonna do so we're gonna multiply this actually okay i'm gonna multiply this zero times 20 so x times the frequency x times the frequency again that is here this one we are working on here okay so i this is not gonna work so definitely i'm gonna erase that okay we have to come up with a clever idea clever way of finding the mean from frequency distribution table okay so if i just multiply them right it's going to be 0 30 of course 126 3 times 93 279 4 times 5 is 2200 and 5 times 100 uh, 500 and of course 517 is 585 so 585 look so this symbol, I want to make sure you understand that this symbol summation means you add all of them. So this is going to be sum of x times the frequency equal to, again, you take a little half of any calculator, right? It should give you 1220, 1220. Check that out with your calculator or do it manually, okay? So guess what, guys? We already have this here. So 1220 over, here you go that should be your n while instead of n i want to make sure that we understand so you see this one this n 
that's basically same thing n is total number so I'll how do you find total number remember this x this x is not going to give you total number okay this x is not going to give you a total number or if you add this x it's not going to give you that x actually as you see sum of x adding this sum of x is not going to give you that you have to multiply this is your sum of x not from this one so same thing we do you don't add this you multiply then add this is basically equivalent as a sum of x okay sum of x times frequency is the same as same of sum of x now this sum of frequency is basically give you the total f okay it's give you n so if i look here sum of f is equal to if you add all of this down here right it should give you give me 373 add it right so guess what that is basically your n capital n you want to do capital n small n doesn't matter this is basically same thing so we are going to divide by 373 once we divide by 373 right let's have a calculator and do this math it should give us 3.327 and of definitely I'm going to put down approximation sign here so I'm going to erase this I'm going to put approximation because I'm rounding things up approximately so approximately my mean from frequency distribution table is 3.27 on the second example and of course the first example is 7.94 I hope you understand how to find the mean from the frequency distribution table as you clearly see so that's two example i showed you one is finding mean from very basic way and when you cannot handle something like that you cannot extract it well you can extract it but it's going to take all time you run out of time for your remaining problem to do in the test so we do something quicker we add all of this or well, multiply then add again i want to show you here that you make sure you follow me here you're multiplying you're multiplying you're multiplying you're multiplying okay and then you add that will give you this one that goes on the top and you add all the frequency that should go on the bottom that's how you find the mean from frequency decision table clearly i hope you understood thank you